What's up everyone, back again with yet another video, yet another banger, and we're out here in the streets of Bristol, and we're back with yet another foodie video for your head tops, me and my psychic here, it's like change of vehicle today, this is actually another vehicle that I own um, for my other business, but enough of that, we're not here to talk about vehicles, no, 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 we're here for the food content. So we're starting the day off, we're going to get a subway. Nothing too crazy, nothing too special, but we'll do a subway, do a quick review, and then the plan is to try and find some turkey necks. Are you going to try some turkey necks? I don't know. I've been seeing all these, these guys from New Orleans, from Louisiana, chefing up, cooking turkey necks, and I feel like I need to try that. I feel like I could be a good chef or cook from New Orleans, but I've never been to New Orleans a day in my life, so I don't know what the real thing tastes like, but we're gonna try and make it at home as we do, like I've done the gumbo before, a shrimp boil, but we've never done turkey necks. So we're gonna try it, but we gotta try and source some turkey necks. I don't know if that's gonna be a possibility or not, but I'm sure we'll find a butcher that sells turkey necks. Let's hope, anyway. Subway first, let's go. Let's go. This. What's it called again? This it's called furious chicken. So we've got some, obviously some chicken, some red onion, a crap load of chipotle mayo, pickles, oh and waffle fries. A bit of a mess going on there. It's Subway. It's alright. Does the job. Didn't really want McDonald's or anything, so kind of did the job. How about yours? Seven out of ten. What about yours? Ten out of ten. Ooh. Right, so we're out here in these streets. We're in the hood, and we're gonna try and find these turkey necks, baby. We're trying to find them turkey necks, you. All right, we're in the hood. I'm telling you, we are in the hood. All right, this is the hood. The hood, the hood of Bristol, anyway. This is the ends. We're in the ends. Mummy's ends. Mummy's really from the hood. So am I. That's, that's his kidney or, or liver or something. Yeah, I, I thought it was liver. Where was it? That's um, oxtail there. Where? That's oxtails. Where? This is the best place to come if you want to meet your after you exit it. Thank you. So I appreciate that so much. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Have a good day. Right, I gotta I got give these guys a shout out. They just gave them to me for free. Right, guys. I gotta give a massive shout out. So R. Jenkins butchers here, in Bristol. It would have been four pounds. Yeah. So come to R. Jenkins butchers, Stapleton Road. He just gave me some pig's feet for free because I had a camera in my hand. So shout out to that. I didn't actually get his name, but come to R. Jenkins butchers, best butchers in Bristol. I'm happy. I didn't get the turkey next, but I managed to get some pig's feet for free, bro. I'm not like an entitled guy that expects things for free, but if someone kindly gives me something, I'm not going to turn it down. So thank you to that guy. I should have got his name. Sound guy, R. Jenkins.
Right, so still no luck with the turkey necks in that right or right. But there is this other butcher, so I'm going to try one last place. So hopefully... If mummy came in here, she'll be paranoid because there's nuts. Yeah, there are nuts. Secured the bags, kinda. Kinda, we didn't quite get what we were looking for, but we got some pig's feet. Let's get a shout out to R Jenkins for the free pig's feet. What a legend, what a gentleman. But I don't know, I don't know how these are gonna go down, how they're gonna be cooked. I, well, I know we're gonna boil them somehow, but I'm gonna give it a go, let's give it a go. Shazzy's had pig feet, so she'll know what to do with them. I'll just handle the seasoning side of things. So we've got quite a bit there. That's quite a bit of meat. I think. Oh, we... it's been cut up. Yeah, he's cut it up. So here we go. Pig's feet. I was actually trying to cut down on eating pork, but as soon as I saw him there, I thought, let's give it a go. Let's be brave. Let's be brave, guys. So what we actually set out for, guys, was some turkey necks. I couldn't get them. We went to three different butchers and I couldn't get them, but... I did manage to get these turkey pieces. I think there may be there may be a neck bone there. I don't, I don't know. Is that a neck bone or is that? I don't know. I don't know what we got in there. So the original plans failed, but we're going to try pig feet today. We're going to try pig feet. Let's do something different. So these are going to go in the freezer, and they are going to go in the pot in a minute once they've defrosted a little bit. So stay tuned, guys. I'm actually going to go to the gym now. I've got to go out and get some more groceries, but I'm going to cut these later on. And let's see how it goes. I'm nervous. I'm a little bit nervous about this. Oh, yeah. Also, I did buy a few extra additions to our seasoning collection. So we actually managed to find some... Badia. Badia or Badia. How do you say it? Badia or Badia? I don't know. We found some Badia. Let's say Badia for now. Some Badia seasonings. Got some more Sazon Tropical. Uh, what else did we get? We got some complete sazon. Uh, what else did we get? We got oh some bay leaves, dried bay leaves. Uh, just got some some tropical cube stocks. Um, What's this? I got some jerk seasoning for another day as well. Later in the day, and I'm back. I'm about to prepare these pig's feet, these trotters, and see wagwan with a taste of these things. I'm a bit nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I've got my holy trinity of vegetables cut up, onions, bell peppers, celery, and a bit of garlic too. I've got some red potatoes ready to go in a little bit later. We're gonna do some corn as well. There's the pig's feet, all washed down, chopped, ready to go. And we're just gonna add some seasonings to the, uh, the boil. I don't know, I'm making this up as I go along, so I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I've got no idea, but. And the cube. Oh yeah, and a cube as well, just a meat stock cube. And also, guys, look, the sun come out for us in September. How is it out there? It's really nice. It looks pretty warm. It feels pretty warm, stood in the window. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing, Rai-Rai? What are you doing? I wash. Are you washing? Are you washing the windows? Maybe. Right. No, so these vegetables are just sweating down. These aromatics. Sweating down. I don't really like a lot of chunks of vegetables in my food. I just like the kind of flavour that they give, so... I guess that's the good thing about cooking them for a long time. Right, so my little assistant here is going to help me season this. I've put some water on top of my veggies now, let them sweat a little bit. So come on, the let's go. Let's, let's season this soup, broth, whatever the heck you want to call it. And guys, feel free to correct me if I'm doing things wrong. I'm not a chef, all right? This is, I'm literally making this up as I go along. I'm just basically going off that basic kind of Cajun recipe, I guess, with the trinity of vegetables. So I don't know. I don't know if this is the way to cook pig feet or not. I mean, paprika. Smoke paprika. Give it a little smoky taste, a little bit of spice. Go on, hit that bad boy. No, you can go a little bit more than that. You can go a little bit more than that, Roy. You can be a little bit brave than that. Come on, we can do this. Chipotle chili. Go on, hit a bit of a bit of chipotle. I know this is this is probably different. Cajun. All right. I think you can do a little bit more than that. <laughs> Okay, so tropical sazon, or sazon tropical. You can go a little bit more than that. A little bit more than that. A little bit more than that. Oh, can you pass me the pink stuff? What's going on? Pass me the pink stuff. 
Oh wow. So we've got some we've got some activity going on outside the flat. We've got the police right above us. It's not just above. Can you see the pink stuff? Got the police helicopter looking for someone. It's like somewhere a around here. Maybe someone nicked a bottle of vodka from Morrison's or something. Was that you? No, it wasn't me. I didn't steal anything. I don't think they'll send helicopters for vodka. vodka. Can you police are here. The police are here. They're not, they're not here for me, all right? Don't worry. They're not coming for me, Aurora. Guys. With some of this is a zone. I think we go a little bit more. That was... Watch your spear, oh, bro. What? More. Let's go more. Oh Did you? That had no flavour whatsoever. That was just tasting like water. It's like we are going to add a little bit of Tony's, but you just just go careful because that's this is hella salty. All right. It's so easy to get carried away with the Tony's. It ends up being so, too salty. Okay. Still got the old bill flying around. Let's what? see what's going on. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they are looking for me. So the old bill right up there. They're up there. They must be looking for someone. I don't know. They're kind of flying towards Easton where we were earlier. Shall we check again? Shall we check yes. again? Shall we check again? Please Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! yes! We are Luton Town. Say we are Luton Town. We are Luton Town. Say we are Luton Town. E I E I E O Y O. Up the football league we go when we win promotion. This is what we sing. We are Luton Town. Robbie Edwards is our king. E I E I E I O. Up the football league we go when we win promotion. This is what we sing. We are Luton Town. Robbie Edwards is our king. I'm happy, guys. I'm happy about that. If you noticed, I'm pretty happy about that. Yes. Seven points. Come on, come on, Luton. See, moments like this is why I actually follow football these days. Because with all the heartache it brings, there's those days of joy. Those days of joy, guys. Daddy. Anyway, the trotters are in there. We're just going to have to leave these for at least two hours, I'd say. Um, maybe a bit later on we'll chuck the, the potatoes in. Not yet, because they're going to get too mushy if I put them in now. And we'll put the corn in like towards the end of the cook. So. When we win promotion, this, I know, yeah. but you can do this part of the red house. Up the football league we go. When we win promotion, this is what we sing. We are Luton Town. Sharon Dimery is our king. Oh yeah, my our queen. Sorry, you're definitely not a king with that that tone. Can we have a song, Roy? Roy? Can we have a song. We've got Super Robbie Edwards. Sing. September and the sun shining guys. The mighty hat has just won. I thought I better put my shirt on, you know. Out here. We're out here enjoying life. We're enjoying life today. Saturday, the sun shining, Luton just won. Nana P, my grandmother up in heaven. That's for you. That one's for you. So guys, I think this is finally ready. As you can see, it's dark outside. It's a good two, I think it's probably three hours later. The only thing is, I think I've overcooked these potatoes. They're looking a little bit mushy, so. Let me see. What? The potatoes have gone too soft. Oh, yeah. So I left the potatoes too long. We've got the pig's feet cooked, ready to go. For the first time ever, I'm eating pig's feet. Here we go. That I just cooked. Are you going to try this? No. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Peppa Pig. This is not Peppa Pig, right? It's not humanized Peppa Pig. But flavor wise, that is on point. Seasoned well, seasoned well. It's kind of, it's pretty much what I was expecting flavor wise. I, I knew it'd be a bit like cow's foot, it'd be quite jelly like that. Right? Mm. I'll tell you what, guys. I've smashed it. Huh? I've smashed it. Sorry guys, I keep getting distracted by this boxing. It's quite an interesting fight actually. But anyway, I'm gonna try and get through this review. 
Let's go in again with the pig's feet. The flavour on these bad boys, I tell you what, the season I used, it's come together. It's kind of got a, a little bit of a weird jelly-like texture. It's very fatty, but it tastes good. That tastes good. Mm. In comparison to cow's foot, I'd say I prefer this. Potatoes are good, they've sucked up all that seasoning. They're a little bit soft, but... Tell you what. Guys, I've done... I don't mean to toot my own trumpet, but I've done well here. Guys, I've got to give myself a 9 out of 10. I've got to give myself a 9 out of 10. Right, guys, so that was definitely a hit. That, those pig's feet definitely impressed. The jelly-like texture, it takes a little bit of getting used to for me, but the flavours... I got on point guys, I'm not gonna like, like I said, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I got on point. But I'm about to end this video, but there's one more thing I picked up today, there's one more thing, I'm just gonna keep you for like a couple more minutes. I picked up this this wine, Cali Red by Snoop Dogg. I didn't even know that Snoop Dogg had his own wine, so when I saw it in the shop, I thought I gotta pick me up a bottle. And look, let me just show you this, one more thing, let me show you this. It's got one of them cork things that you have to take out. Got Snoop Dogg on the cork. That's pretty cool. Let's try this. Let's try this wine. Let's just see what it's saying. I'm not like. I don't mind a bit of red wine. I'm not a huge red wine drinker, but I thought as a Snoop, I gotta try this. Here we go. Cali Red. Cheers. That's not bad. That is really smooth, actually. That's a really smooth red wine. decent not just because it's Snoop Dogg that is decent like I say guys I can drink a little bit of red wine I'm not a huge huge fan but I could probably drink this all day long I'm not gonna drink the whole bottle of course but that's good all right guys so much later in the evening and we've actually still got police helicopters circling above the apartment so I don't know what's going on today I do not know what's going on but one thing I didn't even realize earlier um, the road we were walking down earlier, me and Aurora, um, the street where we bought the pig's feet, there was actually, I didn't realise at the time, but there was a there was a murder on the street earlier on, maybe like 12 hours earlier, like, so, I don't know, there's something going on in the city, like, I mean, stuff happens here, stuff happens, but, I don't know, there seems to be a lot of activity today. I'm trying to keep my voice down because I'm out late at night and the neighbours are out, but yeah, I don't really know what the heck is going on, but you know, as always, prayers up for the UK, prayers up for the city, that's how it goes to sometimes in England, but anyway guys, appreciate you guys for watching, I'll see you in the next video. The end!